In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the vector equation of a line. Now, if I just had two coordinates, a and b, and we're in 2D at the moment, and I said, right, find the equation of the line going through those two points, you'd be able to do that. Um, you learn about it in A-level maths, you learn about it in GCSE maths, so you would be able to do that fairly easily. Now, um, if instead we used vectors, and the whole point as to why we would use vectors is because if we can do it with vectors, so we can describe that line with vectors, then we could trade it up to 3D coordinates. And finding the equation of a line in 3D coordinates is not something that we've met before. Okay, So that's kind of like the pathway that we want to take. So how can we describe this line using vectors? So the whole idea is that we want to be able to get from the origin, effectively, because remember, vectors are instructions of how to get from one point to another. We want to end up always on this line. Okay, So the idea is that the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to get from the origin onto the line. So we need to get from the origin here onto the line. So the first thing that I would probably use is I would use the vector OA to get me onto the line. Now I could use OB, that's perfectly fine, I could use that, but I'll use OA because it's just more straightforward for how we're describing it here. Okay? So OA, if you remember from A-level maths, that is the position vector of A. Okay, so OA would just be 6, 2. So that is a vector to get us onto the line. Great, so we've managed to get onto the line. Only one specific point, mind you. Okay, but we're on the line. Brilliant. Right, now what we want to do is to make sure that we always travel along that line. Now that line is going in the same direction as the direction of the vector from A to B. Okay, so with my position vector in place, I could then work out AB, which will give me a direction that I would need to travel in, okay? Because regardless of whether I want to get to this point or this point or this point, I need to be travelling in this direction. Either a positive AB or a negative AB, uh, whether I need to do 1.5 lots of AB or minus 0.3 lots of AB, whatever I need to do, I can then travel along that line using that direction vector. So AB can be worked out using OB minus OA, so OB is 11.6, and OA is, of course, 6.2, and we get 5.4, okay? So this is referred to as the direction vector. So you've got a position vector that gets you onto the line, and then you've got a direction vector, sorry, AB, which allows you to travel up and down the line. Okay, So the idea is that if we had a general coordinate on the line, and we're going to call that R, okay, this effectively, as a vector, is x, y. Okay, So this is the position vector of any point that is on the line. Okay. So what I do is I, first of all, get onto the line using OA. And then I need to travel in the direction AB by a certain amount. So if you want to get to 11.6, for example, then I need one lot of AB. Okay? If I want to get here, I might need 0.2 lots of AB. So I need some multiple of AB, and that multiple we will use lambda. Okay, so the Greek letter lambda. 
uh, and that will be some multiple of AB. So the general form, so that's just using our writings there, and I could, I could write that down as R equals uh, 6, 2 plus lambda times 5, 4. Okay, that is the vector equation of this line. Okay, and it's very much similar to y equals mx plus c, right? So m here, well, that's not the m, this is effectively the m, okay? Because m is the gradient, which is, in this case is the uh, direction of the line. Okay, x is the value I would substitute in to get to what point on the line I want to get to. Okay, and that's kind of like your y-intercept, which locks the line in place. So this isn't, um, a, uh, there isn't just one equation, a vector equation of the line, that describes that. Okay, there could be any number of different ones, of different variations of this. But that is one way to write down that line, and that will get me to any point on the line. So structurally, you have R is equal to, and it's sometimes written like this, A plus lambda B, where A is your position vector, and B is your direction vector. Okay, And it is this form that we will use to trade it up to 3D coordinates.